My name is Keith Long, and I am a product support lead here at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will show you how to turn on the AA7800 Atomic Absorption Spectrometer and how to set up and perform a flame continuous method. To turn the instrument on, flip the power switch on the bottom right hand corner of the instrument to on. If you have the auto sampler, also flip its switch to on. Note that if you have the GFA on your AA7800, the auto sampler controller mounts inside the GFA. Otherwise, it will be sitting on a stand to the side of the instrument. Make sure to open the ventilation that you are using for your instrument. In this setup, we use an exhaust hood. On the computer attached to your AA7800, navigate to the wizard icon. Click it, then select the operation tab. There should be an icon of the instrument. Click on that and it will open up to a login page. Enter in the proper credentials and then click OK. After clicking OK, the wizard software should load. A pop-up titled Wizard Selection should automatically appear. Select Element Selection. If you are creating a new method or open a recently accessed file or template by navigating through the other tabs in this window. In this example, we will be creating a method for copper. Note that different elements may require a slightly different setup in order to be analyzed. For other elements, reference the parameters in the AA7800 cookbook. Click on Select Elements. Select your element using the drop-down or periodic table in the top left. Then select which mode of analysis you will use. For copper, we will be using flame, continuous. However, note that for different elements, you may need to use other optional accessories for measurement. After selecting the type of analysis, select the type of lamp you will be using. We will be using a self-reversal or SR lamp. Fun fact, normal lamps are required to use D2 background correction, which is only effective up to about 430 nanometers, while SR lamps can correct for the full analytical range of the instrument and can be used with both D2 background correction and self-reversal background correction. If you are using the auto sampler, check the ASC box, then click OK. If the lamp required for your analysis is not input into the software, you will be prompted to alter the setting immediately. Insert your lamp into an open position on the lamp carousel, taking note of which slot it is inserted. Back in Wizard, select Yes. Another pop-up will appear, prompting you to enter the lamp into the software. To do this, select Lamp Position Setup. This window will appear. Enter your lamp into the correct socket, making sure you have correct lamp type entered in the appropriate column. Then click OK. Make sure the correct socket number appears in the window. Confirm that the selected lamp mode is the correct one for your analysis. Since wavelengths below about 430 nanometers are better analyzed through D2 background correction, we will be using BGC D2. Now click OK. If you wish to make a method to measure multiple elements, Simply repeat this process to create a sequence of elements you wish to measure. The next page will show calibration curve setup and sample group setup. Click on calibration curve setup to either confirm or change the points you want in the calibration curve. I will add a blank into my curve. In the top portion of the pop-up, select which concentration unit you will use. Click OK. Click on sample group and alter it as desired. Note that these parameters can also be altered later. 
Select Next. A Connect to Instrument page will appear. Select Connect Send Parameters. A window will appear. The instrument will go through a series of safety checks before allowing its use. The software will ask if you are using flame analysis. Select Yes. A flame analysis checklist will now appear. Go through each item and check them off as you confirm. 1 and 2. Open the air and acetylene valves. Make sure the supply pressure for air is 0.35 plus or minus 0.03 megapascals and that deacetylene is 0.09 plus or minus 0.01 megapascals. It is important to ensure acetylene does not reach past 15 psi. Number three, make sure the burner head is not clogged by taking one of the alignment cards and running it through the burner head. Number four, make sure the burner head is seated all the way down. Number five, Check that the nebulizer is connected to the instrument and that the sampling tube is attached to the capillary. Number six, check to make sure that tubing for waste is correctly set up and that waste is not full. Number seven, set the front panel. Number eight, put the chimney back on. Be aware that if any of the listed emergencies occur, please turn off the power switch on the AA, close the gas valves connected to the instrument, and then pull out its power supply. Purge the acetylene gas and the air a few times to prime the gas lines and ensure the gases are properly flowing to the instrument. Note that in this analysis, we are not using nitrous oxide, so you can simply ignore it. Drain sensor check. Take off the front panel, push down on the stick, and click OK. Then, release the stick after it prompts you to do so. Click OK again. Now replace the cover. Air supply check. Click OK. Nitrous check. Nitrous oxide is not required for this analysis. Select No, then click OK. Fuel gas pressure monitor check. Select check it, then click OK. At this point, a gas leak check will start and no ignition will be possible for eight minutes. The instrument will then check to make sure the necessary mechanical properties are functioning properly. For example, the instrument is checking to make sure the atomizer can move properly. Click OK after all checks are done. Another window will pop up, click OK, and then select Finish. To turn on the lamp, click on Parameters, then Edit Parameters. The Optics Parameters will appear. Select Lamp On, then click OK. A pop-up will appear, notifying you that a Line Search Beam Balance check will be performed. Click OK. Confirm that the check is OK. Note that some elements may require warming up the lamp before passing the line search beam balance check. Select Close. Your MRT worksheet will be auto-populated with your calibration curve and sample groups from the previous. At this point, you may turn on the flame by pushing both the purge and ignite buttons at the same time. Please note that it is common for it to fail the first time if the instrument hasn't been turned on in a while. If it does not ignite, click no and retry. Confirm that the flame has been lit. At this point, the instrument is ready to perform analysis. After you are done performing analysis, extinguish the flame. You may either do this manually by pressing and holding the extinguish button or you may set it up in the instrument configuration software to automatically extinguish after running the samples. Note that doing this allows you to simply reignite the flame if you wish to perform more analysis. To save your experiment, click Save or Save As. To save your method, 
navigate to File and select Save As Template. This will create a template file which can be used to load preset parameters you set instead of recreating them again each time. To export data, select the file icon in the top left hand corner of Wizard. A drop down should appear. Data can be exported as either a text file or printed as a PDF file. Click File Export. You may either export the summary of all unknowns in the entire analysis, including ones from other elements you set up in the file. For a more detailed report, you may select which items you wish to export by clicking on Export Items. A pop-up will appear. Now you can check any items you wish to export. After curating your exportation list, click OK. Then go back to File, Export, and select the desired method. The same is true for printing the data as a PDF. Navigate to File and Print. Selecting Print Data Parameters will print all PDF of the setup parameters in a basic view of the data. Selecting Print Data Table will print a more detailed view of just your data table. Both of these can be customized by clicking on Print Style then selecting which elements you want to be printed. To shut down the instrument, make sure you extinguish the flame and then navigate in the instrument tab to Wizard. Then Connect option should have a check next to it. Click it. It will open up a pop-up notifying you that this will disconnect the instrument. Click OK. After a short buffer period, it will remind you to close off your gases. Close them at this time and you may safely turn off the instrument. Thanks for watching my video today. And for more information, please visit our website at www.ssi.shimatsu.com.